We're gonna take this baby and put a modern version of Betaflight on it. Hello. Hello. All right, so you have yourself an ES32 variant flight controller and you like to upgrade to some modern software like Betaflight. Before I get to that, let's take a trip back through time, 2012 to be exact. Anyhow, let's get on with it. Around 2012 was the golden age of flight controllers. We're going from the Atmel 8-bit microcontroller over to the STM's 32-bit F1 flight control system. Here we are, vintage STM32 F1 flight controller. We're gonna take this baby and put a modern version of Betaflight on it. This one's the Afroflight. Afroflight 32. An SMT32 F1 flight controller. There you have it, the Afro 32. This is an AS32 variant I've had since 2015. It's my last spare that I have, and it's about time to update it to Betaflight 3.2.5. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Fast forward to around 2015, that's when we've seen the peak of the F1 flight controllers. We had the Afro 32s, the Flip 32s, Naze 32 is in its sixth revision, and that's probably one of the ones you have right now. And I'm going to show you now how to update to a Betaflight firmware. The firmware that you probably have on that is either Base Flight or Clean Flight. Those are the two popular ones that were coming out on those flight controllers. They're a variation of the multi Wii flight control system. And then we get to 2018. At that point, Betaflight is in its third revision. 3.2.5 to be exact by February 2018 and that is the version of Betaflight we're going to flash onto our flight controller. I'm going to show you now how we can flash to the latest version that Betaflight supported of the STM32 F1. And just recently they dropped support for the F3 as well so um, your only step from here really is to go to the F4 and there's a lot of cheap ones out on the market but um, there is a lot that we still have. I've got probably half a dozen quads still running an AS32 variant in it. And I've upgraded them all to Betaflight. As you can see, we've got Clean Flight loaded on this. Let's change that. Now if we try to collect If we try to connect in Betaflight, we get the error message non Betaflight firmware is not supported except for CLI mode. So we can actually go in here and check through resources out. Always copy those and move them over if we need to, but uh, we're going to be using a known working uh, file, so we don't need to do that. What we do need to do is go into the firmware flasher here. Alright, on the Betaflight GitHub, just click on the uh, open source flight control firmware software. And we're going to scroll down till we can come to the 
releases. Now we're not looking for the configuration tool releases as so the, the configurator. We want the actual beta flight releases right here. We're going to click on that and we are going to go to tags and we're going to look for beta flight 3.2.5. You can do a search or you can just scroll through it till you come to it. 3.2.5. Sorry. 3.2.5 and this should be the last one that supported the Naze 32 so we're going to scroll down here you see the uh, Naze right there that should be the one we're going to click on that and download it And we're going to load that locally. So what we're going to do is we're going to bridge these two boot pads here. And when we apply power to it via the USB, it should put it into the bootloader mode and be able to take the firmware. So just because of my own experience with these boards being old, I've taken the, uh, the liberty to uh, put a little dab of fresh solder on those boot pads because it's been sitting for years it's oxidized usually you gotta end up scraping into it so that you can get a good connection uh, you put some liquid solder flux I just like to take a little bit of fresh solder freshen those pads up and then they work good so I'm gonna take this little tool I made so I don't have to use something sharp and scrapey and spring loaded like tweezers this is just a uh, female to female DuPont connector and I've used uh, a couple pins that I've taken off of uh, DuPont um, headers and that's the perfect pin spacing 2.54 pitch to bridge those solder pads so I just press it on like that gently power up okay unfortunately you can see that the flight controller is activated so that did not go as planned so I'm going to just reposition my pins make sure I got good contact or there's an act to it okay you know what I'm going to do I'm going to cheat I don't like using this because I have uh, I shorted boards out before doing this technique. It usually isn't this much difficulty. I'm just going to go carefully. And there we go. That's all it took. Clearly my tool has failed me. Alright. Let us flash this firmware now. Should be pretty straightforward. Now that it's in the boot motor, uh, bootloader mode, just goes through automatically. And don't get it. Sometimes it doesn't work. Some, just like this, errors out. I'm not even going to bother because I know how much of a pain this can sometimes be. So we are going to do plan B, and that is we're going to use the STM32 programmer software, which that never lets me down. So let's just flip on over there. I'm going to put the link to the software uh, in the description. There we are. So as you can see right here, it's connected and we're still in the bootloader mode just the blue light right there all we need to do is open the same hex file that we would have uh, had beta flight load onto it load it up click on the download button erase the internal memory and it does just take a moment here but shortly we should have success 
STM32 Cube Programmer is the software meant for the ST32 microcontroller. So, if you can't use one, you can always try another. Okay, so, now that we're in here, let's unplug it. Plug it back in. As you can see, it's got flight control, flight controller uh, software loaded now. It's no longer in the uh, the boot mode. It's operating. We're gonna hit connect, and there we go. Flight controller. Oh, whoops. <laughs> flight controller info beta flight version 3.2.5. Release February 11th, 2018. Now we have Beta Flight on here. So, let's enjoy it. Hope this helped you guys out. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you like this. And if you found it helpful, subscribe because I've got more content on the way. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.